What's going on everyone? My name is David Caprino. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be making a care package for my wife who's deployed. I'm also going to be going over some tips and tricks, things to consider when shipping a package overseas or to someone deployed. So this video is going to help give you some tips for things to think of when sending someone. This care package is going to be Easter specific. So these are just some things I found that I thought my wife would like. Obviously you can pick some of the same things or something different, or if you have any suggestions, things that your significant other liked, whether it's, you know, wife or husband, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below we can help other people out and get some other ideas and see if it would be something that they would enjoy speaking of enjoying i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you all for your time and attention i greatly appreciate it and enjoy okay first things first when you're shipping an item overseas or to a loved one in a deployed area you want to make sure that you're getting the right sized box for what you're sending over so since i am going to send a small easter basket of course with a bunch of other random candy and some other goodies i grabbed this size box uh, i don't know what the size is because i think I, sh I bought something online and it came in this box this is a good size it's going to fit the little easter basket that i got and there's enough room around the items that i have to put insulation and the fluff inside so that way nothing rattles around or gets broken. You also want to make sure you have enough of this stuffing or paper, packing paper, whatever it is you want to call it. You will go through a lot of filling. You will go through a lot of boxes and yes, they do tend to get expensive. So just keep that in mind. Don't be surprised if you send a box like this and it's like $50 to ship on top of everything that you bought with it to ship. So I have my box here and what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start creating the Easter basket for my wife. So I have this spring ribbon here that has, it says Happy Easter and it has some eggs and this, this decorative writing on there. I have a confetti egg. So if you break the seal right here, there's a bunch of confetti that spills out. I thought that would be funny to get. I grabbed some of the pink, I forgot what this stuff is called. I grabbed some of the pink grass to put in there. And then I got this small blue basket. I got all of this stuff to be small little trinkets that I can send. Uh, it's gonna go by size and weight for the package. Of course, the more stuff you put in there, the heavier it is, the more expensive it is gonna be to ship that item. So I have stuff that I'm gonna give her whenever she comes back as like a real Easter or like a birthday. All the holidays she's missing, I'm getting her actual items. This is just for her to get that taste of home while she's away. I'm going to put this together so it may not seem super extravagant, but it means everything to that person who's overseas or deployed. Before I start with the basket, I actually went over to Michael's, and I don't know if you can get these everywhere, but this is 12 plastic eggs, 12 paper strips, and one dipper. So this is actually so you can dye Easter eggs, but they're fake. They're plastic. You know, they look like real eggs. You can dye them like real eggs. They had some of the patterns on it and where she's at right now, she cannot get access to eggs. Part of the fun with Easter is dying Easter eggs. So she doesn't need real eggs, right? But she can at least decorate them. I got these shark costumes, I call them, for eggs, so that she can decorate it. If you've ever seen one of these before for Easter, it's basically like a decorative kit that you can use to decorate your Easter eggs. And because I love sharks, she inherently also loves sharks too. I got her one of these. I also got double of everything so that we can do it together. So we're gonna FaceTime and dye eggs. I got her one of these so that she can still decorate eggs. I get this really cute looking Easter bunny garland. So they're like little white fluffy cotton balls with bunny ears on it. And I'm gonna decorate the inside inside of the box with this. So when she opens it up, it's gonna look like it's decorated around the side. I have these treat bags that are Easter themed. I think I'm actually going to line the inside with these because I don't have this many treats. Came in like a 20 pack and I couldn't just get one. I know for me when I was deployed and she said this herself, she's like, don't send me a lot of candy because everyone always gets candy. They're like, oh, what do you want? And everyone always sends candy, candy bars. We're only gonna send her a little bag of candy and then all these other ones are gonna be used to decorate the inside of the box. And of course, how are you gonna color Easter eggs without a kit? So I got an Easter egg dye kit. It is a family tradition for myself that everyone in my family always gets a chocolate bunny. Doesn't matter if you eat it, throw it away, smash it, whatever it is you wanna do, everyone always gets a hollow Easter bunny. And I found this really cute baby Yoda. And I already did this off camera, but she loves Reese's. So I got her the Reese's egg, I got a Kinder Joy egg, and I got some marshmallow Reese's cups in there. And I think there's something else, I can't tell. The other thing in my family everyone always gets, whether you like them or not, is Peeps. There is huge controversy around Peeps. I understand not all of them are great. They come out with these weird, crazy flavors now. This one is chocolate pudding. Maybe she'll like them. She does not like Peeps. I like Peeps. I'm going to wrap the top of the Easter basket with this wired ribbon. I'm going to take the top of it and just make a little bow with this. It's canvas style with Easter bunnies on there with different colored tails. I also got edible grass. This is green apple. So I'm not gonna open this because I don't know what it's going to do whenever it gets flown over there. So I'm gonna keep this in the package, leave it in there, but if this was at home, I didn't wanna keep this for too long because I don't know how fresh it's gonna be. The other thing I got here were clip lights. So I got these also at Michael's and they look like little clothespins, but they're wired lights so that you can actually 
hold photos in there, whatever you want, and they can actually be lights, like around your room or something. Here I got some more Easter egg garland. I think I'm gonna do this for her other Easter basket that's gonna be for home because I already have some that I like. And I got these really cool things. I forgot what they're called and it doesn't say it on there. Chanel, Chanel stems? I don't know, but it's like the wire, the fuzzy wiry thing so that you can wrap it and it'll look decorative. I got a bunch of these, this was about $5. And then I got some gift tags here. So I can always reuse these. So that is one thing that if you are going to buy or make a care package for someone, try and look for things that you can also reuse because this stuff gets really expensive. All this stuff here, this is about $100. So, and that's not even shipping it. So then I gotta take time out to create the basket and stuff like that, and then of course ship it. So it does get pretty expensive. And the last few things I got here is I got an eraser, I got a pencil sharpener, oops, and I got 36 colored pencils and a little pencil bag. I bought an adult coloring book, like a meditation adult coloring book. And the last thing is I got this I think it's translucent. I forgot what the type of material is, but it's almost like reflective. It's like pink and purple reflective, but it's clear cellophane plastic for, or I'm sorry, it's transparent wrap for your Easter basket. So you basically wrap this around the Easter basket and you heat it on top and it kind of shrinks wrap a little bit. So that way it's a nice little crimp on top and it makes it look more presentable. I'm going to put this stuff together, make my wife a little Easter basket, pack the inside, make it all decorative, and I will get back to you guys shortly. Cue the time lapse. Here's what I have for the inside of the box. So I took all those gift wrap, uh, the treat bags, and I taped them together. This one's kind of coming off a little bit. But I created this inside so that looks nice and Easter-like and pretty cool, huh? Okay, I was able to put in the bunny garland. Look at how great that looks, see? Now that's how you do a care package right there. So I took the gift, uh, the treat bags. I basically just taped those like all hell to the side of the box on the inside. So you can see here, all that, I lined everything in there. And these are basically just the last four. I didn't know what to do with them. I didn't want to throw them out. So I figured, hey, just stick them to the side. So I crumbled up this packing paper really good and I shoved it in the bottom and then I expanded it out to the sides. So you can see how it's sitting in there really well. Here I took that decorative ribbon. See how it says Happy Easter? And I basically tied it to my treat bag that I made. So it adds just a little bit more to the treat bag. Okay, so this was a little bit more difficult to set up. You saw me struggle in there. But I put the pencil bag with the colored pencils in there and inside the pencil bag, I put an eraser and the pencil sharpener. I have those uh, closed pin lights that I talked about earlier in there. I have the treat bag in there with all the different candies. I have the peeps that are sitting in there. I probably should have put those facing out, but that's all right. And I think that's everything. But here's the little Easter basket I made. my last bit here is the card I got from my wife and I have this Easter basket I put together so I just threw some things in there it turns out this box is just a little bit smaller than I thought but that's okay because I have some other stuff whenever she comes back home so here is everything so the Easter basket is behind this so that'll be the big reveal I think I'm gonna put some more stuffing on top tape this up really well and uh, that's it so to my wife happy Easter I hope you like it I love you and best of luck on the rest of your deployment.